Hi, my name is Dr. Daniel Lopez and I am with Osteopathy New York and today I want to discuss with you what is osteopathic medicine. In the United States there's two kinds of fully licensed physicians that have all practice rights uh, in, and they can prescribe medications, practice in all specialties and uh, one is the uh, MDs that uh, everyone uh, is likely aware of and then there's also DOs and DOs are doctors of osteopathic medicine. Now, uh, most DOs uh, are, in this day and age, uh, very similar as far as how they practice uh, to MDs. However, uh, there is a component of osteopathic medicine that makes it slightly unique uh, and, and different, and, and that is part of what I want to talk about. And, and so in order to to explain that, let me go back to the history of osteopathic medicine. Now, osteopathic medicine was founded in 1874 by a Civil War physician named Andrew Taylor Still. And Dr. Still realized that optimal health requires all the tissues and cells of the body to function together in harmonious motion. He reasoned that disease could have its origins in anatomical deviations from the normal, no matter how slight those deviations may be. So he understood that the relationship of the body's many parts uh, function as one unit. So keeping this in mind, uh, he then worked to find the health of the body by restoring the anatomical deviations back to normal with his hands. So thus osteopathy was then born and uh, Osteopathy stems from the Greek roots uh, osteon, which means bone, and then pathos, which means suffering. Uh, so this was meant to communicate his theory that disease and physiologic dysfunction originated with disorders of the musculoskeletal system. And so Dr. Still used this style uh, of medicine to treat many infectious diseases at the time that included meningitis, dysentery, whooping cough, uh, cholera, influenza, measles, mumps, rubella, uh, and many other disease processes. So since then, uh, many osteopathic physicians have then worked to fully understand and advance the concepts that were first started and taught by Andrew Taylor Still. Now, an osteopathic physician uh, today works with four uh, principles that uh, make up osteopathy, and those principles are that one, there is a relationship between the body's structure and function. Uh, two, the body is a unit uh, with the health of the patient, uh, which combines mind, body, and spirit. Three, the body has the innate, inherent self-healing mechanisms and self-regulating mechanisms. So uh, the body is capable of healing itself. And then lastly, rational treatment is based on those prior three principles. So osteopathic uh, medicine is heavily uh, involved in anatom anatomy and physiology. Osteopathic manipulative treatment, which is performed by osteopathic physicians, is a non-invasive, hands-on, holistic treatment approach. Nowadays, uh, there's only a small percentage of osteopathic physicians that use osteopathic manipulative treatment. Uh, nonetheless, there are still a small percentage that practice it and uh, are successful with it. Uh, if, if you have any questions or want to find out more information, please visit my website at www.osteopathyny.com. Once again, my name is Dr. Daniel Lopez, and uh, I will continue to uh, explore osteopathic medicine and osteopathic medical tr treatment in the future. So uh, please check back with us. Thank you.